while there was joy aplenty on day four, there was heartbreak for some, as a champion made a shock withdrawal, and a Japanese hero bid an early farewell. Welcome to your Daily Review Tokyo. Shockwaves were sent across the globe on day four of the Olympic Games as champion gymnast Simone Biles withdrew suddenly from the women's team final. USA Gymnastics citing a medical issue after Biles produced a disappointing vault in the first rotation and appeared to land awkwardly. Without Biles, the US were beaten to gold by the Russian Olympic Committee team, ending the nation's 11-year reign atop the sport. Despite her absence, her team's efforts ensured Biles a fifth career Olympic medal. Yet more success for Australia in the pool on day four, as 20-year-old Kaylee McEwen claimed gold in the women's 100-meter backstroke, dedicating the victory to her late father, who died last year following a battle with brain cancer. So there's been a few moments where I've been like, oh, okay, that's definitely my dad. He's here by my side. And, you know, he was with me that entire race, not just the last 10 meters. So, you know, it's kind of a little superpower I have to myself. McEwen flew home an Olympic record time, beating Canada's Kylie Maas and America's Reagan Smith, while reigning Olympic 100 meter breaststroke champion Lily King failed to defend her crown, settling for bronze. Tom Dean and Duncan Scott ensured a 1-2 finish for Great Britain in the men's 200-meter freestyle on day four. Gold medalist Dean achieving the feat despite recovering twice from COVID-19 in the game's lead-up. In the men's 100-meter backstroke, reigning Olympic champion Ryan Murphy failed to defend the gold he won at Rio 2016 settling for bronze behind Russia Olympic Committee duo Evgeny Rylov and Klimat Kolesnikov. It was a day to remember for Switzerland in the women's mountain bike cross-country race, as Yolanda Neff, Sina Fry and Linda Indergaard claimed an impressive sweep of the medals, the first of its kind in Olympic mountain biking. Hometown heroes Kanoa Igarashi and Amuro Suzuki delivered inspired performances in surfing's debut at the Games, both finishing in the medals as looming tropical storm Nipatak whipped up improved conditions on day four. Brazil's Italo Ferreira proved a class above to clinch gold, while Australia's Owen Wright outclassed world number one Gabriel Medina for bronze. In the women's final, world number one Carissa Moore beat South Africa's Bianca Batendag. Meanwhile, Tokyo is bidding an early farewell to the face of the games, Naomi Osaka. The 23-year-old bowing out of the women's tennis competition following a straight sets loss to Czech Marketa Vondrasova in the third round. In other results, Germany's Ricarda Funk won women's kayak gold, upstaging Australia's Jessica Fox, whose four seconds of time penalties saw her claim only bronze. Meanwhile, China produced a flawless display to claim gold in the women's synchronized 10-meter platform final. Flora Duffy became Bermuda's first ever Olympic gold medalist in the women's triathlon. Estonia beat the Republic of Korea to claim gold in fencing's women's epee team event. And Japan emerged with gold in the final of the softball competition. A result which lifted the host nation to the top of the medal tally with 10 golds, ahead of the United States and China, both tied with nine. Join us again tomorrow on the Daily Review Tokyo.